Asbury. Today is March the 1st. I'm Ian Downer. And on today's edition of the W Rams broadcast, we have many stories to bring your way. To start things off, we're going to go to Micah Culpepper with Miss Badgett about prom. Hey, I'm here with Miss Badgett, and she's going to tell us how things are going with planning prom. So, how are things going? It's going really good. We're right on schedule. It's hectic as always, but it's kind of a bit to be expected. I think you guys are going to be really pleased with the decorations and the way everything looks, and I think we're going to have a great prom this year. Okay, and where is it going to be held? Gunnersville Town Hall. And how are prices looking? Prices are going to be $40 for an individual ticket, $70 for a couple. Okay, I can't wait for prom. Me either. The tickets are on sale this week, so come see me. At this time, we have Hillary Davis. Mr. Brock's first year of class won the competition for, for getting the most amount of money for paying your patients. Well, basically, it was dirt that motivated us to start bringing in the change, and then a bunch of people started bringing in the money and putting it in the box. We were up with like 40 something, almost 80 something. And what really got it was they were awesome, brought like a big bucket, and it had a ton of pins in it. So far, we did a real, real good job on bringing in some cash for the pins for patients. What was your reward to? Pizza. Yeah, pieces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Here comes Lance Childress for the Senior of the Week. Here with Andrew Bates and his our Senior of the Week. So Andrew, how long have you been coming to Asbury? Um, since Head Start. Like, yeah. Been here your whole life. Mm -hmm. Um, what kind of classes and stuff do you do here? I've got three AP classes and um, welding, government. And and what are your plans for after high school? I'm going to go to Sneed in two years so I can save up some money that I'm going to transfer to uh, like UAB. Hey, Mr. Burke, what are you doing? Look at this. This is awesome. awesome. Can we get a lunch? Uh, we might. Look, these are all AR prices that I just went and got last night. If students take one test per week, score 85 percent or higher then they have a chance of their name being pulled out in a drawing for look cool applebee's 25 bucks subway 15 with me walmart card taco bell burger king applebee's itunes cards and then the two big prizes at the end of the year we've got an ipod shuffle and kindle fire how awesome is that Hey, so if I test, can I? Totally, if you test. Okay. Right. You know, sometimes if you're kin to the person, which I'm not kin to you, so. <laughs> totally. Go take a test, Miss Parker. Go okay, test. I think I will. Okay. We're going to go to Jose Gonzalez with the insight about the softball team and their first game. We're here with Alana Pickleton, and she's going to tell us about her first game she had. So, what was the score? 3 nothing. 3 to nothing. What position do you play? Pitcher. Pitcher. Did you strike out? Strike them out? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. How do you think you're going to do next time? I don't know. Okay, well, better luck next time. Yeah. This time we have Elizabeth Anderson with the Teacher of the Week. Hey, it's Elizabeth. I'm here with Mr. Robert Killian. He's the new band director here at Asbury. So. How long have you been teaching music? I started in 1978 at Albuquerque. My first career I started teaching in 1968. I have been teaching in uh, about 37 years. What's your favorite instrument? My favorite instrument is uh, a keyboard, a piano. I uh, was fortunate enough to learn early in life and I uh, actually make money playing the piano for dances and receptions and uh, so that is my favorite instrument. And how do you like it here so far? Oh, it has been great here at Asbury. Uh, the people are so friendly. All the students I've met have been very kind to show me around and tell me what uh, the layout of the school is and the uh, Ms. Price and Ms. Wilkes have just been over backwards to make sure that I feel comfortable and I do. It's, I'm just having a lot of fun. That's good. We're glad to have you. Thank you very much. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. Yeah. For the, 
the month of March, the Spanish Club is having a clothing drive for the Hispanic elementary students. Please bring you or gen gently use clothing for students pre-K through 6th sixth, sixth grade, for boys or girls, to Ms. Hancock's room uh, from now and until March 8th. March 8th is our next meeting, club meeting, and you need to bring a clothing item in order to attend. Thank you. Helen Partrick, I just drew your name for making an 85% on an AR test. Awesome, I just took another test. What are you going to do next? I'm going to Taco Bell. I got a gift card. I'm going to eat it. Don't you wish that you were me? Want to go with me? I do. And all I had to do was read. I love Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell too. I get to do what I want to do and I get to go to Taco Bell. It's awesome. More of you should join me. Now we have Elizabeth again with a game. We're going to play a little game of charades. Each team has to act out eight things. And whichever team answer guesses all of them correctly first wins. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Santa Claus. Yes. Driving? Driving a car. Okay. Mm. <laughs> How will it feel? <laughs> <laughs> a Walmart. <laughs> At this time we have Allison Davidson with Mr. Brock. I'm here with Mr. Brock, our PBS coach, and we had some visitors come to our school this week, so can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, they were from Jacksonville High School, and they have just started it, the PBS program, the Positive Behavioral Support Program, and so they came to see what we have done since we've been doing it for three years, and we talked to some people about the ticket program, about how to get teachers and students to buy into it, and also talked to them about how you can encourage your students to work towards being more positive in what they do. It was a very good visit, and I am very proud of where we are as a school and proud that we're all Asbury Rams. Thank you. At this time, we have Melissa Ramos. Here with Jose and Isaias, and they're going to tell us about their games that they have Saturday. What was the score? 10-0. 10-0. Oh. Who did y'all play? Crossville. Crossville. What happened? Why did y'all look so bad? <laughs> We're a great team. They're a great team? No, yeah. we couldn't uh, really concentrate. It was your first game. You're probably nervous. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, you'll, you'll win next time. Hopefully. Okay. Bird. She's going to cry. Can you say words? Oh, well. Can you talk? Can you talk? Okay. Um, uh, Superman? Uh... We. <laughs> Mine. We, we. <laughs> we.
today's broadcast, I have the final announcements. Next week, we'll have a video of Asbury's archery team coming out, so make sure you watch it. Also, today is Read Across America Day, so drop everything and read. For real. Thanks for watching. To conclude today's episode, I have the final announcements. Next week, we'll have a video of Asbury's archery team coming out, so make sure you watch it. Also, today is Read Across America Day, where you need to do books and take tests. Reading homework. It's for herpes. Hey. Herpes. My cat has herpes. And it's not like human herpes, so don't worry. It's feline herpes. It's feline herpes, which means when it starts to act up, he just like gets flu-like symptoms. Oh god! We had it all down. Now we got like a million. God, we're almost done. <laughs> we're gonna have to do it. Is this hard corn? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> what you doing? What? <laughs> I can't. Hey guys, just a reminder, the video of the Ag Trip to Auburn is up on our YouTube page, so make sure you check it out. It's pretty cool.